We act time. Bison! It's a chonky lad. Okay, this is called, this is from Casual Geographic. We're gonna be learning today, Chad. Get out your, your pen and notebook. How to not get unsubscribed from life by animals. We're gonna, we're gonna learn how to, you know, not be isekai to the shadow realm today. So if you're a long time subscriber, there's a couple of videos that might have brought you here. One of them might oh. be the very first video I ever made. It's still up today, but considering it was a TikTok compilation I slapped together and it was back when I used Apple headphones as a mic, the quality is trash. In fact, we watched that video and nearly made me cringe myself into a hernia. And in all honesty, if the views didn't go crazy, I definitely would have vaulted it like nature did to dinosaurs. Or the Bundy <laughs> Hornets, whatever happened to them? Well, with the recent upgrade in the production quality of my channel, I figured why not remake the video that probably got you here in the first place. So here's how to survive Let's a moose go. attack. You don't actually oh. have a choice in the matter. You see, we don't, we don't have a choice, Chad. It's all RNG. It's a roll of the dice. Just don't get in that one. Don't get in that one. Don't get in that one. Keyword here is attack. The road to getting a moose aggravated often comes with a toll price of your life. And honestly, you're probably safer in front of a bear than a 10 foot oh tank my of God. antlers. I still can't believe how big mooses are. Like, I just, I... They're humongous. With predators, you can convince them that you're not worth the effort. But there is no negotiating with something that thinks you're actively trying to turn it into calories. So the best way to survive a moose attack is to not even let it get to that point. So here are some signs that a moose is considering turning you from one of a kind to another in a pine. Bro, I would just, I would just give up. You know what I'm saying? If I go outside and there's a moose out there, like, I'm going back inside. I'm going back inside. Just like if there's a tornado outside, I'm not gonna just, like, try to drive through the tornado you know i'm just going to go back inside and be like you know what it's a sign I i'm gonna i'm gonna have to go do whatever i was doing later if a moose stops eating or I'm drinking and suddenly that. stares at you you got the moose's attention and it's in your life's interest to give it back if a moose shows you the whites of his eyes soon you'll be seeing the sight of god's skies and if the ears <laughs> are pinned back his mind's on attack and this goes for pretty much all animals once the ears go flat then the next few seconds are going to be very crucial to continuing your way of life and I i'm don't not hanging out with the moose that long to find out uh, i'm not hanging out with the moose i'm not getting that close to the moose where i would have this interaction I'm just, I'm just leaving, okay? I'm, I'm leaving. Way before this can happen in any capacity. <laughs> I don't entirely know why, but if a moose urinates while looking at you, it's a sign of ill intent. I'm guessing it's like a territorial thing, but wherever you came from is where you need to be heading. And if a moose lowers his head and starts approaching you, that is likely the last warning that doesn't come with a hospital bill. See, I'm just turning around. None of this sounds good. None of the options so far sound like the moose can do anything nice and we could be friends all right all of the options are like this moose's violence is rated e for oh. everyone so i think i'm just gonna skip of course oh. none of that really matters because a four-legged armor truck with the ability to make conscious choices could just choose oh to my you god on the why are they petting him why the hell are all these people gathered around a moose like he's a freaking like golden retriever what did you think was gonna happen like an armored truck with the ability to make conscious. He's like, all right, small fry, you gotta go. Look at how fast that happened. Look at how fast. Like, he looked friendly before the whole, like, oh, if their ears up, it's fine. But if their ears go down, it's bad. Like, look at how fast this escalated. Like, ain't no way you're gonna be able to be like the moose whisperer and tell if he gets mad. To make conscious choice. That was so fast. That was like, yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine. F this child. Could just choose to charge you unprovoked. Catch because there this. is no playbook in nature that the Musaya is gonna follow. At which point your options are limited. Oh, he went in for a double tap! He's like, I'm not done. <laughs> but you're gonna want to get into a car, a shed, or a building, or at the very least put something between you and the moose, like a tree or even a man. See, that's me, chat. That would be me. Oh, look at that moose. Absolutely not. Absolutely not box or something and if violence is inevitable you're gonna want to curl into a ball protect your vital organs and forgive oh those who may have my god wronged you in the past so the hate in your heart doesn't weigh you down as you go to the clouds but most importantly don't get up right after the moose stops trampling you because that could motivate the moose to star in the sequel of your assault basically the whole make yourself look bigger thing yeah yeah do the exact opposite with a moose. no 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 there is no world which you can think 
that the moose is going to be like, oh, I think that uh, that human is bigger than me, actually. Don't stand your ground because at the moment it's not yours. You're dealing with the Lord of the North and nothing short of a magazine with no words or a freed willy is stopping him. You can expect more than 10% off when a moose is involved, especially when it's a mother with a calf or a male in rut. And for those of you that already know what rutting is, I'm 90% sure I know how you know and I'm 90% disappointed in you. What is... I don't know what this means. <laughs> Do you guys know what this means? It's on the moose hub. Is that is that a tag in lewd terms that you could type in? You guys need Jesus. However, the moose usually isn't trying to hurt you, so the less of a threat you are, the less danger you're in. Can't really say that for these guys, though. Here's how to survive a chimp attack. Yeah, funny thing about that, either you don't or you wish you didn't. Look, yeah. if you already follow me, then you already know what chimps are and what they're capable of. People think they're cute because they look like humans when they should be scared because they act like them too. I actually have a list on how to survive a chimp attack, but if you're in a position where you can get touched up by one, then you've already ignored steps one through five. I was gonna say, if you're in this position in the first place, you are a dummy. Step six is to lease a coffin. But let's say you effed around and now you're trying not to find out. Don't smile or show teeth since this can be interpreted as a sign of aggression. It's their version of flashing your piece. Eye contact with a chimp is a good way to make contact with your ancestors since oh, this no. can be directly seen as a challenge. However, I did not know that. So smiling to them is like a display of aggression and dominance? If a chimp is already coming at you with violence, then it might be time to pick a color for your casket. There is one weakness chimps have that might just save you. Because chimpanzees are built like Michelangelo statues, their relatively low body fat and top heavy body composition means chimps can't really swim. So if you happen to be near a body of water, diving into the deep end where a chimp can't follow you might be the only thing that saves you. Now here's a video- oh, but, but he's swimming. But chimp doing exactly what I just said they couldn't. So I guess the real advice here is be an organ donor. Because at least whatever they find left of you can go on to benefit someone else. Because it's not like you're going to need it. Now let's talk. I was going to say, you got to cry. Pray to a God you do or don't believe in about bears. You've probably heard the popular rhyme for bear safety, and that's if it's black, fight back. If it's brown, get on the ground. And if it's white like a cloud, you're going to die. But there are some misconceptions with. Is that actually a saying? I actually didn't know that. I've heard, like, one of the bears is more dangerous than the other one, but I never actually heard the whole saying. This and some of those misconceptions could get you put on a shirt, so we're gonna talk about it bear by bear. With black bears, you're gonna wanna fight back. But that doesn't mean just start throwing hands at the bear, because a bear of any kind is folding any man like Sunday laundry. But I was gonna say, I don't think I wanna, I don't think I wanna 1v1 this. I think this is maybe a bad idea. What you want to do is make yourself look like a threat. Stand up tall, talk loud and firmly, and if you have a bag or a jacket or something, raise it over your head to make yourself look bigger. Black bears seem to constantly forget who they are and instead choose to identify as overweight raccoons, so they can be intimidated. Now with brown bears, you're going to want to get on the ground, but not for the reason some people might tell you. Some people say to play dead, since bears don't like to eat prey that's already past tense. Bear so we got to do the, like, the possum strategy? We got to do the possum strategy? Bears will eat literally anything, including other baby bears, so they're not about to oh miss out on free protein just because the expiration date might be off. But also, bears aren't stupid. You see, playing possum works for possum because they're not playing. They actually pass out and go into a panic coma where no amount of pushing or prodding wakes them up. Also oh man, I didn't know that. Man, that makes so much sense. Guys, I've moved a possum before. <laughs> I, I was worried about the fella. I, would, I saw him, he played dead in the middle of the road, and I was like, you are about to actually become roadkill playing dead there. But he would not get up. He would not get up. I was like, move, sir, get up, scoot, 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 move. And, and he just refused, and I was like, okay, I don't think you carry rabies, so I'm going to take this risk. So I, I scruff grabbed him, and then I grabbed his tail, and I, I, I moved him. And, and man, he, he, I... I was convinced. I saw him alive, like, when he played dead, but for a minute I was like, did you actually die, though? And then he just flipped over like it was nothing! Like, two minutes later, he's like, alright, see you later. I was questioning myself so much because, like, he felt dead. He was completely limp. He did not get up right away. This makes so much more sense now that I know that. So they'll drool and release a foul smell to really sell the bit. So unless you plan on committing to the role that hard, it's not gonna help you. Why you actually get on the ground is to look as unintimidating and non-threatening as possible. So basically, none of the things you do with a black bear. You're gonna wanna lay down, clasp your hands around your neck, and then spread your legs to make it harder to flip you over. Oh but my. the most important thing, and I cannot stress this enough, do not run. A bear can keep pace with a horse over a short what distance. What kind of position is this? Like. Are we getting at the fetal position? Hold on, I'm trying to imagine. What does this pose look like? 
Because in my mind, if you're on your back, it looks like you're relaxing for a vacation. You got your hands clasped behind your head. And your legs spread out? Oh, like being arrested. Okay, so never mind. You're on your stomach. I thought we were, like, basking in the sun. But the most important thing, and I cannot stress this enough, do not run. A bear can keep pace with a horse over a short distance, so all running does is guarantee you get made into a memory sooner. Especially since bears are the largest terrestrial predators on the planet while also having the endurance of a CrossFit junkie. And sometimes yeah. the bear will test their instincts by charging. Most wow. charges, however, are bluffs, and the worst thing you can do for your health is do to race with a homicide case with paws. Also, whoever said bears can't run downhill was actively trying to sell the human race. Yes, they can, and thinking they can't will be your downfall. But the best- Why the heck would they not be able to run downhill? The best way to survive a bear attack is to avoid one in the first place. So if you're ever yes. hiking in bear country, you're actually going to want to make noise. Which sounds counterintuitive, but making a lot of noise actually tells the bear where you are and allows it to avoid conflict in the first place. Also, since bears have a hypersensitive nose and sense of smell, carrying bear spray can be the difference between going home in peace and resting there in pieces. Bear spray is said to save people from serious injury in bear encounters 98% of the time. No God way! I didn't even know there was bear spray! Bless you if you're in that 2%. There is a catch, though. Everything I just said applies to territorial <laughs> encounters with bears. Oh, if a no. bear comes at you on predatory timing, then my only advice is to make peace with the higher being of your choosing. Predatory no. bear attacks on humans are rare, but when they do happen, someone gets put on the news. And that's why if the yes. bear in your presence is a polar bear, then it's up. Yeah, you're just, you're, that, that's just it. That's just GG's. Game over. And by it, I mean your time on Earth. Polar bears are hyper carnivores, so while other bears are omnivorous, polar bears are all meat all the time. And since polar bears can smell their next meal from an area code away, by the time you see him, just know he's been plotting on you. Oh there is my one God. tip that says polar bears have ADHD, and undressing and tossing articles of clothing will distract it long enough for you to escape. But unless you have like an unlocked- What? Come again? Pardon? Did he just say you got a strip in front of the bear? There is one tip that says polar bears have ADHD and undressing and tossing articles of clothing will distract it long enough for you to escape. But is this just a meme? Is this just like the, the other person who said running downhill would help you? This is a specially troll telling you to remove your clothes, specifically with the bear that is in the coldest location. Unless you have like an unlocked car or a bear proof house, all you've done is guarantee that you now die naked and cold. And if the I bear somehow doesn't get you, I was gonna say now they're just gonna find you. But 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 ass naked. Finds your body gets to see exactly how your life ended. Now half the reason I work out is so that if I ever suffer an untimely death, then I can leave behind a respectable corpse. But considering this I is see. probably happening in the ice chilled Arctic, they probably just assume I was compensating for something. Style you know, points you know, be beyond sure the grave. But yeah, if it's black, fight back. If it's brown, you better hug the ground. And if it's white like nose powder, then it's gonna be your final hour. And speaking makes of final sense, hour, makes sense. here's how to survive a hippo attack. Right, no, that, that, whoa. you're not going to. And I if was you're gonna disappointed say, by that, then that's a failure of your own expectations. And considering we're like halfway through the video, if you click genuinely looking for hippo advice, and I'm assuming you're watching this from God's data plan. Hippos are the heaviest things on four legs without a trunk or a horn. They divide crocodiles without oh a calculator. Oh no, there's a hippo near me. I spontaneously ran into a hippo. Time to ask Google how the heck I survived this encounter. <laughs> 500 people from the population a year, and if we're being honest, it's probably higher. Show me someone who survived a hippo attack, and I'll show you someone you should get lottery numbers from. So my only advice <laughs> to surviving this whale Karen throwing a fit is to uninstall yourself so he doesn't get credit for the kill. Unless you're exercising the right to bear absolute heat, in which case I hope he likes seafood because he finna eat some shells. Then again, since hippos are as oh close as you God. can get to being bulletproof, self-deletion might be the easiest way out. Ironically- Ooh, which one of you guys said it's better you carry a gun in the wild when this guy's pretty much bulletproof? In this entire video, the cougar might be the most survivable out of any animal here. The rules for Don't surviving the cougar hippo are pretty hiking. simple. You're not Try gonna to travel make in it. groups, avoid being out at dawn or dusk, and Oof. if one tries to offer you a drink, just remember nothing in this life is free. Now, when surviving the actual cats, the rules are a little different. You see, cougars are actually naturally wary of people and are perfectly happy avoiding humans. So if a puma ever presses you like in this video, it's likely you accidentally stumbled into some cubs and now you gotta see the mama about Oof. it. Back away slowly. All running does is That's tell the cougar that you're something worth chasing. Also, with ambush hunting, the worst thing you can do when a cat confronts you is turn your back to it, because that makes it more likely to pounce. You're gonna. You just gotta. You just gotta carry around a laser pointer, chat. Carry around a, a laser pointer. Big cats still do. If I fits, I sits. If you give them a cardboard box. So my best guess is they may, they may like the laser pointer. We might have a chance. I want to stand up tall and back away slowly while speaking in a loud, firm voice. It doesn't matter what you say, you can recite the entire script for the B-movie, as long as it's loud enough for the cougar to hear you. No, 
you sh this dude. He's trying to attack me, he rides a little bit away from you. Dude! What do you want me to do? Come on! This sucks. You can also throw things not oh at, God. but near the cougar. However, if you crouch down to pick something up or take your eyes off the cougar, then you've broken two rules in one move. Just keep moonwalking and understand Stare, that if the cougar contest. wanted you off the senses, you'd already be trending on staring Twitter. Contest this advice reverse. pretty much applies for big cats too. However, if you find yourself staring down a line, first of all, it probably took a lot of bad life decisions to end up there, and it's likely your fault. But pay attention to its tail. I mean, if it's swaying from with side to side, that means the line other feels great, in which is good because that means it can still be negotiated with. But if the tail's rigid and not moving at all, then it's likely a predatory encounter, in which case the only thing up for negotiation will be the cost of your casket. In tiger Oof. country, it's often advised to wear a backwards mask to convince the ambushing big cat that it's already lost the element of surprise. But with Oh my gosh, the cougar video? It follows him for 20 minutes? Wow. That's crazy. Tiger attacks on the rise, it's likely the striped demons are calling the bluff. Bluffing's probably your only option against a kangaroo. Like with the moose and the brown bear, your goal is to convince the steroid rabbit that you're as little of a threat as possible. The steroid and you do rabbit. that by avoiding eye contact and not facing the macropod directly. And if a kangaroo starts putting the paws on you, you're gonna want to curl into a ball, take the hits, and pray. Because if the kangaroo hauls off and kicks you, you're probably not getting back up. But I was you... gonna say, kangaroos are so terrifying. They are so scary. Want a kangaroo cheat code? Lower your head, keep your hands close to your body, and cough. A deep cough is similar to the sound weaker males make to submit to a bigger, stronger alpha root. Wait, it's basically really? giving the kangaroo the Disclaimer, right. Disclaimer, this doesn't work with red kangaroos as they don't cough. So you can't cough to show submission if the kangaroo is red? How am I supposed to know? How am I supposed to? How am I supposed to differentiate? How am I supposed to do that? As you can see, this woman failed to cough and now she's coughing up a kidney. So I guess with kangaroos, you have two choices. You can either have a coughing fit or be fit in a coffin. So but I just gotta be like, <coughs> <coughs> and then the kangaroo will be like, understandable. Uh, good day. You don't have options when you're dealing with the most dangerous animal humanity's ever seen. And that's because it's humanity <laughs> itself. <laughs> so if you ever happen to wake up and find that you're a wild animal, here's how to survive a human attack. First is to understand that you are likely screwed, and any outcome that doesn't oh, end in one no. less of you likely will end in something worse. And the sooner you can accept that, the sooner you can be at peace. Now humans may look like the light work of the great ape group, being significantly weaker than orangutans, gorillas, and chimps. The worst but they animal to speak of. The same way that bullied kid makes up for years of torment with a suspiciously shaped duffel bag and the intent of lighting up the school like a Christmas tree. The you can try to run, one but the homo sapien race used to literally well. chase their prey into heat strokes, since they're able to sweat and cool down while actively running you into the ground. Of course, that's when they hunted with spears. Now they use their father's boomstick to blow you off the senses, while still being too far for you to add any input to the matter. Make no mistake, without claws, venom, or a strong bite force, an unarmed human might seem like an easy W. Until you realize True. that humans work as a massive monkey mafia, where if you hurt or murk one of their own, they exterminate your entire family. And that honestly, that's the nicest thing they'll do. Because the other option involves being captured and taken as a we spectacle suck. in their society, where they will imprison you, break you down, and punish Quack. you for being yourself, just like high school. But the worst part of it all, when the deuces hit the fan and someone gets put on a shirt, they'll blame you for being what you've always been. They'll slaughter hundreds of True. millions of your kind and then gaslight you to convince themselves that you're the problem, all while actively destroying the natural order that exists billions of years before them. Cause humans aren't God, but they sure love to play it. So the only way to survive a human attack is to readjust your goals and just enjoy the show before a hairless oppression monkey with a superiority complex comes by and cancels it. But that's gonna do it no! for this video. For more consistent content- This is the worst animal ever. Be sure to follow my Instagram and TikTok. I try to post daily on both. Humanity you is the already, worst! Be sure to check out my new book on 100 deadly animals that can RSVP your place in a cemetery. And if Not you'd like even to support this channel beyond just subscribing, my Patreon's also going to be in the description. But other than that, rude, drink water, hug your mother, and be smelly. safe out there. Because the only thing more of a menace than the animal behind the cage is the one outside it. True. That was a good video. Reject humanity. Embrace any other animal.